Now, the Dalai Lama, this is a story, I don't even know how to tackle this. He's come out and now apologised after a disturbing video surfaced where he asked a boy to suck his tongue and this was after he kissed the boy on the mouth. Let's have a look. my <laughs> Kosha, I don't know if the explanation from the Dalai Lama really <laughs> explains what we just saw. I don't know if it's cognitive decline. It's, it's hard to really understand what happened there. I can tell you that footage is far more disturbing when you see it without the young child's face pixelated. But even there, you, you, you've got to wonder what in God's name he was thinking. This morning, or when I got off the plane, I see this guy, this, I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's like a monk or a spiritualist, whatever. I see that he kissed a boy on his mouth, and it's just like, damn, this is just go back to the conversation that I just had yesterday. Like, it's like some people take advantage of religion and start doing perverted things to our children. So I posted a tweet about it, right? So I posted a tweet about it because it's just like, yo, we really have to protect our kids any way possible. And we have to, like, let our kids know to be alert and, like, know that there's a violation when people touch your private parts, when it comes to family, when it talks to friends, when it comes to teachers, or when it comes to other kids. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some kids that are more advanced than others. So I put the tweet up, right? I put the tweet up, and now people want to come at me like, oh, bitch, you're the wrong messenger. You're the wrong messenger. Then you robbing drug men. And it's like, listen, listen, listen. Y'all not going to keep doing this because when it comes to weird-ass predators and rapists and pedophiles, I'm really like, I'm really like, I don't play that. I really don't play that. And for y'all to like trying to say that I'm like some predator or I'm some weird bitch because I just wanted to buy from me and a lot of y'all be like oh these were vulnerable men you took advantage of these were not no vulnerable men these are some freak ass because they like to go to the strip club they like to get drunk and after you go after the club is closed they trying to take advantage of bitches and trying to bargain no i'm gonna go through them pockets and and then y'all be like you drug and rob them did i touch their body did i touch their penis Come out at night